Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Pansy Patch. Um, yeah, I just like the flowers. Today I'm going to be using the big pansies, the little pansies, that little stamp there, and the four leaves. And I'm going to use Happy Birthday instead of the one I used. Just for a change. I haven't got a free block at the moment. So I'll leave that there. And it'll go on this long one. It does. Right. To make this card you'll need a DL card which is eight inches, eight and a quarter inches by eight inches, scored at four inches, folded in half and burnished. A piece of white at eight and eight inches by three and seven eighths for the inside. I have a piece of Highland Heather at 8 inches by 3 and 7 eighths. And I also have a bit of Purple Posy Vellum that I got last year and I've still got it. So I thought I'd use it. And that's going to go there. Now these bits here were an afterthought. When I put the vellum down I thought if I glued it along the dots, as you can see there's dots on this, you wouldn't see the glue, but you did. So I covered it up with these strips, which I used the die from um, hand pen. There's a die in there that does this. And let me get it. in the kitchen because I've got my stamps where I've just used making a video soaking in some bleach right I think it went that way yeah now it's this one now what I did I put this along this inch and I had to do it on my big shot, I can't do it on my little um, sidekick because the die is too big. But when you put it on your big shot, put that in like that and then put your top plate so it finishes one before the end. So there's the end of the die, and I'll put my top plate there, run it through, now this one won't cut, and then when you take that off, you'll have that much cut. Put this back on, a couple of humps, if you like to call them that that way and then making sure where your dies finish place that a bit down from the top so that you're not cutting this off hope I explained that and that way you can e extend your die as long as you don't cut this end or this end until you're finished, in the middle that is, um, you can extend your die. 
and I did that twice. One for the top and one for the bottom. I mean if you are doing a normal uh, A6 card that is plenty big enough just the one. Oh look I've just seen it's got stamping up on it didn't notice that. Has the others got numbers on? No just that one So that's how I cut that piece of paper. How I extended it. So I have two of them. And I have a piece of scrap for the circles, which we've got to cut out because I haven't cut them out yet. Right. Also need some scrap for your pansies and your leaves. Now I have got all mine cut here, but I will show you how I stamped them because they don't go wrong. Because you'll always use them, right? I've got some Highland heather, and I've got all my stamps at the side of me. Now this is the solid one with the middle cut out. Now what I did, I stamped off this one, stamped it off and stamped it down, so I did there and then I got the solid small daisy, uh, pansy, stamp it off, stamp it down. Then I got the one that gives the top layer. Dimensional on the top there. And then I just stamped that on. Now to line it up, at the bottom there is a point there. And I line that up with a point on the base colour. And that's how I got that colour, like that. Ooh. I think that looks quite nice. And we do the same with the small one. This one, we just have to judge it because there's no guidelines. Like that. Then with that tiny one, which is here, I did that and just put that in the middle and that is my flowers. Now in the stamp set there is a tiny tiny black spot but it's too small for my liking so what I did I just got my black marker and put a black dot in the centre of each one. And that's how I got my panties. <clears throat> then you cut them out. Right, the leaves I've got Evening Evergreen and soft succulent so I do the base oh, where that come from and soft succulent get the other one as well there's two different shapes of leaves it's a more flat one and a long thin one I call them and then with Evening Evergreen, you've got the top layer, 
you put on like that. I like that. Now I did try doing it this way around. So I've got stamp it off, put it on, and then off. I put a full strength of evening uh, so saffron on, and you've got them that way. But I do prefer the darker ones. Can you see that? You can't very well see the stamped off so saffron. So then you have to cut all them out, which I have. I've got 11 or 12 leaves. I've got three big pansies, but I only need two. I shall just pick these two. No, I won't. I'll pick these two. Two little ones and a load of leaves. Right, let's get glue in down. Oh no, we've got the circles to do. So, where's my happy birthday gone? My Versafine. And then we're going to cut that out like that. With my trays. There's one. Now we need to cut two plain circles for the pansies to sit on. And I should put that back in my wallet. Oh, by the way, these I think have retired. Right. Now we're going to stick everything down. So this... I am going to run a piece of glue right across the top and across the bottom. And then we're going to place it On there, like that. Then we're going to place these across the whole of the purple. Now this needs straightening up. Right across the top there. So. Down. Uh, 
making sure it's right at the top of the page. And trim it off. And do the same with the bottom one. Let's cut that straight. I'll glue it up. There we are. And then this we will stick on there. Oh, I forgot to say the paper is actually from the Pansy Patch paper. Did I put anything inside? I think I use my own, yeah. Let me just stamp the inside using Wishing you a wonderful day. Now then, we need to sort out these poppies. Right, this one, we have the two small flowers sitting on there with three of the small leaves. So, I'm going to that there and glue them together like that and then we're going to just glue the top quickly glue stick that in there stick that there and this one, I'm actually putting glue on top of the flower leaf and sticking it to the poppies. So that's one. Now I'll go there. These ones, I stuck them on like that. And I used two tall ones to go at the top I didn't like that one that one two tall ones to go at the top like that and then they had whatever I've got left here one at each Side. Like that. So I'm just putting glue in the middle. Put 
glue on the bottom. You can see what I'm doing. So I seem to be really low. And then these two, like that. So a bit of glue there. And then like that. Do the same with this one. Actually, when I stamped all these um, leaves and poppies ready for the film, to film, I'm making another card. You won't have seen it yet. Also using the poppies. So I stamped about 25 leaves. So, and them two will go on there like that. And I will use dimensionals to put them on. So, three on each circle. And then we want one on each leaf. Right, on that second leaf, I'm just going to put many dimensional and that's how they're going to lay right let's put this one on first That's about right. And then this over with this one. Now we just need to add some pearls. Um, mini pearls aren't in there, so where are you? Here you are. Where did I have them? Of all over. I'm not going to put as many on as I did with the. 
touch three, four, five. Right, there we have it. These I did with Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, but I prefer it like this. I do prefer the one colour. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell icon, I will notify you of every... Um, you'll get notified of whenever I upload a video, which is on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I've just thought of some I forgot. I added black gems to the middle of each of my flowers so I didn't need to do the dots. There we are. Makes them stand out a bit more. Okay then. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.